scary look for crew, but I think they need to really step up from what we've seen so far this season. Well, there's quite a bit of aggression out of crew to start this one out right down through B with four players, and it doesn't look like they're going to find any successful fights out of that one. The A site looking to be crunched by Loud. They've got to break through that ice wall first, buying a couple of precious seconds for that flank to carry on and for them to catch less completely off guard. Now the players dropping on the site have so many angles to worry about, and into the smoke they go, losing players along the way. A 4v2 at Loud are going to struggle to clutch out. They have at least managed to slip into spawn, though. Yeah, it almost seems like they're trying to bait them into rotating, realizing that, okay, are we going to win this in a, a two versus four retake? Probably not. Maybe we can catch them off guard, but unfortunately not quite accurate enough from Pancada. And Kuro are going to get themselves the pistol now. I'll say especially going on to move towards the A side here, suspecting another drop down play, but instead it's the B side that's under pressure. Unusual with all the ranged angles, a couple of fights that go their way. Or at least Pancada able to take down Mazzino, some damage done, they've got the site. But, uh, well, they still need to deal with Heaven if they're going to get that plant down, and Nags doesn't seem to be giving them all too much here. That's very clean. <laughs> Just sort of trying to be a little bit cheeky around the smoke, but no. It's going to be 2-0, only one player lost. I Quite a bit of control, slow behind the wall as well, so no opportunity for crew to even get close. And the plant is secured nice and open as well, Tom. They can cover this from practically anywhere, but in come the defenders. Crew are steaming in through main, using their utility to push them back. And here's a triple swing. That was not expected by Loud. Less though, still able to hold strong. Narrows it down to just Mazzino in main at least. That, that fight's never coming through. There we go, and he's TP'd right out. The thing is, as well, I, I think Nags was trying to see if he could get someone to peek him jumping up on the wall. Now, he hasn't got those orbs, so there has to be a moment in his frame where he goes, okay, is it just worth holding onto this gun? He's still yeah. got some credits behind him, but it does seem like Loud has stabilized. The thing is, though, they're going to try and just kill them on the way out. They are making this incredibly costly, and I don't think they'll have time to do anything in terms of the defuse, but they're just trying to bait that last player in, <laughs> see if they can kill off the whole squad. But either way, Sadak actually taking the charge, NM. Well, sorry, Mitch, no, would you like yeah. to retract your previous statement? I very much would. My okay. apologies, Les. That's fine. He has got the headhunter. Do not, yeah. We, we, I, I will, on behalf of Loud, I will accept <laughs> your apology. And while this round is going swimmingly, already finding a double opener. As said, Sadek leading that charge, and there's not really much there's opportunity a there. here. There's a gun there, and it. he's running around with the headhunter still. This is a preference. He's full bot. <laughs> They're even gonna clear this. I don't know if they will. In the corner, actually, uh, Max has managed to find one. Now, the thing is for him, saving the rifle could be given over to a teammate, oh, and then he's actually only one oh. away from the tour de force. So this will probably save them actually having a buy into that next round. And you can already see Sassy just like, well, just in case we need it, I've got my lineup of the Aftershock ready to deny any defusal. Yeah, it's, to be honest, I think you, you're going to be relatively happy with that, hearing that Rolling Thunder go out last second. I mean, it's a, it's a big old taken out. Now, I, I think I see the idea. players have smoked off his teammates and been not too well by the looks of things. Delzik able to find the one kill, a second, and still nothing to be done up against him. They're, they're getting no control. They're slowed down. They're smoked out. I mean, this is disjointed out of loud to start with, but a kill to pull it back. Still, still much alive. more needed. It, they haven't killed him. They put all the utility in just to yeah. clear Delzik's position. But then no one actually managed to hard clear the angry. He was holding on an opportunity, though, for less. He's found Mazzino. That should give them at least a little bit of sight control. And in fact, it seemed like the defenders had rotated off a bit. But they still have to kill this man in the tower. He's already found the two and now has support of Kesnet to cover the cross. But they haven't seen anyone for so long. You might almost start to think, maybe these guys went back. Maybe they've conceded the control. This is when Delzik starts to move back out. He's heard the spike, but now caught by Les. Oh, they've got an angle. And the spike planter has been killed. It's not on the floor, oh, no. but Pancat is behind them. And they have no idea. A Depression and it's come in, but not in the spot they were expecting. Information on the other side. Dalzik, though, trying to get aggressive, but all of this is buying time ready and almost just trying to force them back into the angle, which is exactly what it would do. Nags now has them boxed. The thing is, though, the rest of the players starting to make their way out of dish, and just the weaponry that's currently there on the other side for crew is going to be really difficult for them, but Aspas goes in alone. And that old's got nothing. Hakata does well to find a double, but now leaves it all on to Sada. Quick res, bringing Sassy right back into the fight, but Nags is quick to close out the round. That tour de force doing 
It looks like they might want to retake the control, but the flash is surely going to stop them from doing that as they move back towards spawn. Be retake play from crew. I mean, four players here, they can still afford to fight these angles for sure, but it's all about just being cautious against these pistols, not giving them the opportunities. And Mazzino swinging out wide from behind the smoke, able to take himself a double, slow that push completely, and well, that roadblock, hard to surmount for loud. This is the thing, like, one of the really irritating things about Loud has been less is the way north side of A, and they have nothing to stop him. He can walk up behind four players, he's but he's got an operator, time. so I don't know how he'll feel about that. That's the thing, Delzik hasn't yet spotted anyone. The one time he didn't jiggle, he, did, he actually didn't see anything, but they've done it again. They've walled off straight away, but they just invest a show stop and just like, all right, this guy has been causing us issues. Let's just get rid of him. Let's get into the after plant. And while well, Nax is quick on the flank again, and again, he's done damage. Oh, the Rolling Thunder's caught a couple of these players here. A hard fight. If Nag swings, he could have a good chance. And now Keznet has spotted the player in the corner. He's taken down from up above. The Nate doesn't manage to do anything. And Nag's coming in for a third, but it might not be enough. Klaus still has to clutch this. And Sadik has thread the needle all the way around. It's four to four. Loud barely getting away with this and equal. Out with an off. I think they're about to lose at least one. It depends. It depends where the stun's going to go. It makes things a little bit more awkward. But he's able to reposition. Ooh. Nice shot from Sadak. Gives them the entry into the side. I don't know if they're going to expect Mazzino, but Aspas spins around, head gone, and so's the side. Oh, that's devastating. Two players dying on, I mean, practically the same spot there. And then down goes the spike, securing this. The nade through doesn't catch the planter even for damage. And Oh, the response is instantaneous. Crew are moving to the other side of the map, Tom. They want nothing to do with this retake, and you can't really blame them. Their economy is in lurking upstairs. He waits until they go for an execution elsewhere. He walls it off. Mm -hmm. Looks to catch them off guard. Less sitting in the spawn with an op, and he almost got the collide out of that. Kaznet barely surviving the nade. Well, it's a little more than a headache. Yeah, trades back and forth, reses back and forth as well, but it still comes out with an advantage in favor of Loud, and more importantly, they've already managed to completely take over the A site. Now, we've seen Crew quite happy to just save in a lot of scenarios, and with no ultimates online, 4v5 trying to make their way back into the A site, I think they're going to need a quick kill, or they might just opt for the same again. I mean, look at that trap up in Dish. They've still got a decent bit of control. Might be one less angle for them to clear on the way through. They're delayed by that orbital strike. And now, posted up on the angle was the Operator. I'm finding the kill. They're just spamming ults. <laughs> That's what loud. They've been saving for a rainy day. Rolling Thunder goes through as well, and they've just delayed enough time. A chance for them to actually build up some economy. Now, Keznet's actually sticking around. And the thing is, the weaponry is far more important for them, but I guess anybody else... Well, I don't think anybody else is going to be pushing at this stage. Now who's going to make the first mistake? Who's going to get a little bit eager? Oh, he found out it's less. He wanted to go meet his teammates. They'll have to wait for the next round. 4v4 retake. Yeah, the orbital strike actually used, but it, it's not going to really find much value. Slowing them down very slightly, maybe allowing for the rotation to come in a bit quicker, but instead they've been sectioned off. And I was going to say the wall has been used by Sadek, but then he just goes pushing in towards the spawn and actually finds a kill instead. He's, yeah, he pushed into the smoke, stood inside it, and when it faded, they were not ready for him to be there. They thought that this would be a nice little passive round out aloud after they got their spike plant, but no, they were looking to still bring the hurt. A stun perfectly placed, perfectly timed. <laughs> well, that is an execution. There we go for Aspis. Seven on the board, and that pause, well, it ain't quite. Well, that shouldn't, that's a gap. At, uh, He's waiting for his team to rotate first so that they can get better disgusting. timing. This is so smart. You will not see this in 99.9% .9 of games, but he just wants better spacing as the team moves onto the site, because otherwise he would have had a kill with no value again, though. This wall is just so annoying. And Mazzino gets away with two. He was the last man left on this site, but he has worked wonders. He's actually put their team back into the advantage. That spray was great. A nade through as well. Could be huge damage. It stopped the plant at least for a moment. It's put a spanner in the works for Loud. Five still possible for Crew. That plant almost seems undeniable. What a shot out of Aspas. He's out for more. Two kills, a nade right back on through. And I don't think he's finished swinging just yet, especially not with Sassy answering up like that. Klaus on a Spectre. It's not the best weapon for this fight. He has no idea as well. Yeah. Like Pankard is completely. Nag's caught as well. And that was the lurk outside of B main. He was hoping to catch the aggression. 
He did, but uh, shot didn't connect. Not on his side, at least. A player less, and crew now forced into a two-dimensional take. They've got to just come through Arcade. Not the flash that Sassy was looking for. That's gone onto the box. So these players, they're not slowed down. Coming out of heaven, they're blitzing in. Sassy behind this box. They know where he is, but in comes Pancada to help out. It doesn't help all too much when he goes down immediately, and Sassy just stuck on the box, but he's putting in the work. Left alone, now the stun comes in. He's sacrificing his teammates one at a time. A boom bot available on the other side if he really wants to use it, but it's more this positioning. <laughs> Setting up a firing squad. Nice shot from Nags. Mazzinho also going to trade things back and now, well, you're not going to be getting through that wall with pistols too easily, so uh, an after plant and not really much of an opportunity at all. Yeah, I think they had the right idea uh, getting back in there, but crew on range with weapons, just a little bit better. I'm going to wait for this flank to come all the way through. Les is taking his time on the way in addition. Obviously, you don't really mind, you know, L let that wall break up. Nowhere Kesman's gone. He's, uh, oh, there we go. He's back. <laughs> I was worried for a second, but it seems like it's more on our end than anything else. And well, Kesnit Mazzino, one kill, this at least something, but again, will Nags be able to retrieve the like Mazzino got so many kills in some of the early oh. rounds that he can actually just get straight. Oh, he's stunned! He's gonna be taking the, the orb, but bounce. just look how much utility he's got in, but Sanak still gets a kill! Honestly, with the amount of stuff mind. that was thrown in there, it's not bad. The problem is they did get oh. that res. <laughs> Thank God! Alright. Just spamming into the smoke with a band, not manages to get a kill. They're pressuring though, getting rid of less in a one for one trade, and somehow we've ended up in a. Uh, uh, I was gonna say 3v3, <laughs> but they just got another smoke kill. Yeah, well, I I'm almost ready for another to come on through. Well, what else she got for me, boys? Oh, Thelzik. Oh, he's heard the blast back up above, but he's not able to take him down. Loud, come out on top. Three players surviving. It it really comes to Sadik. How much can he get from this position? And well, with a showstopper on its way towards him, yeah, that's about as much as I expected. He's now out of the round, sights lost, and plans should be coming through momentarily. Orbital strike delays for a moment. But I don't know if they'll be able to get into the position to stop this. The plan coming through, they'll guess, they'll nade. The nade is good, actually, I think. Based on that angle, it looked like it was going to deal some serious damage. Delzik left to 18, and he'll took himself into the corner. Molotov ready to slow them down. I think that they were hoping to oh. at least do some damage with the Orbital Strike, but ultimately, thus far, they've got nothing, and they don't really have anything else in terms of ultimates. If Sassy gets a kill, maybe that's the game changer. I don't know if they expected Mazzino, but he has to fall back anyway, and they will eventually clear out one Aspas, a second to his name, but they've still got plenty more players to deal with. One of them, Kesnet, and Mazzino, the other crew. They will hold on in this round, and while well, bring it back to within two. A very good recovery. They'd switch things up, but it gives them a lot of information, especially where they've actually left the trap. Nade might even catch one or two here in terms of just damage, but while well, Delzik already onto the site, Mazzino gonna be able to heal up, and although they took that map control, doing anything with it is not gonna be easy. I think that was a good call by Crew and the nade goes down to continue committing. Kesnet was already through, but they almost lost Delzik to it. They needed that pacing though. They couldn't allow Loud to reset up slow them down that little bit more. Now time's on their side, and all they've got to do is keep them back, and by the looks of it, they've got more than enough to keep these players at bay. The Molly down, buying a little bit of extra time. They've got all the main control, great positions, and with time being as it is, I look, Loud are going to try to contain them, going to try to make this as costly as they can, but the fights that they can take aren't favorable. Going through that door, there's just too many angles for these players to work with, and, well, if Klaus is going to do that, yeah, flawless. Very nicely done by Crew. Yeah, Prime Gaming Flawless almost blitz this. Kuro showing that you can't underestimate this squad. Hello! He's just stunned him in the spawn! Spike is now there for Loud. They've got all the control, and Crew have got to be scratching their heads. The Rolling Thunder really? in spawn. Now they're smoking them off in Dish, trying to. But an orbital strike. It's caught Pancada. It's left him with a sliver of health. And you know what? I, I, crew have almost come out of that one smelling the roses. Yeah, the, the thing is, I understand the reasoning there of the Rolling Thunder is like, well, there's no way they just left someone stood there with the spike on his own. They did. They, they, did, they, yeah. they did. So unfortunately, it means that ultimate did absolutely nothing and doesn't reach far enough. So yeah, they, they've been left in a pretty awkward spot. And here are the flanks outside that's being attempted by Loud, not going to go through. There's a trap that's watching it. So they'll struggle to get anything, any surprise. 
on that side. Good by Sassy, and he can back out from this. This allows them to actually retake the site, set up for the 3v3. 3v2 make that with Nags going down, and that's a big scalp to take. Still a nade over on Kesnet, and still a smoke for Delzik, but they've got to take down a number of players, and less with an operator is, well, it's going to be a big target coming through B main if he catches an angle, and it's right up into heaven. That's an important kill as well. Getting rid of Kesnit, it's left all onto Delzik and the instant trade through the smoke. A shaky one, especially for what was committed for Loud, but they get themselves the round. They're even going to use the res for economy. I don't mind it. You're coming straight back off a couple of round losses. You want to make sure that you're going forward with actually a little bit of nags. Oh, the smoke actually going deep. Oh. Gives a lot of control, but in, in the meantime, we've had a raise on raise battle, and Kesnit once again has come out on top. Up to 18 kills now again. Ju just keep your eye on that. <laughs> Yeah. It, it, it's actually ridiculous how good he is in this second half. And with that in the orb, Showstopper's online, and it's making its way towards <laughs> these the players. Wall. Wall. He doesn't have any blast packs oh, left. They have to break uh, it for him. <laughs> well, look, he wasn't going to catch anyone anyways. That's the upside of this situation, but he doesn't know that. Nade to spawn, and it's only the ropes. They've got to worry about Klaus is stuck in the open. Mazzino going to be able to trade and try to fall away. He's also got Nags here to support him. Tour de Force coming around the corner. Big kill, and even more swinging with him. Although the trades are coming through, it might not be enough. Not unless Les is able to take both of these players. Oh, he's watching main. He's holding it. Oh. Double peek. Perfectly timed. Crew will find a ninth and just about hold on. Well, they're bringing the fight to them. Even with some of the pieces that we said were necessary, missing, starting things out. That's risky. The nade's good, though. It's going to force Sadik out to the side. He still gets a kill and goes aggressive. What is this guy doing? The crew are completely caught off guard by that. And now there's weapons, there's a showstopper, there's everything coming their way. <laughs> I, I feel like he's taken a leaf out of the Scream Sage that we used to see quite a long time ago, because he is just battling and brawling. Kesnit tag low. Aspas only with them coming through, and this is where the pressure starts to get applied. Sadik caught up top. Good kill for Kesnit at least. And with Delzik down, they're not, not going to have him on the site to be their so man low. on the inside. This could be awkward if they end up getting smoked out, but there's no smokes left for Pankat. In fact, no utility at all for Loud. Yeah, the thing is though, the main problem for crew is just their HP. Uh, they're so desperately low, even the weaker weaponry, if there was any, would be able to do some damage. It may not be noted on the other side though. They're trying to make noise. It's only going to be the one. Kesnit's still just hiding around the back though. They haven't actually spotted him. They don't realize where he is. Just sneaking around, just hiding while his teammate takes the fight and already gets the nade down onto the spike. He's just baiting down that clock. I don't know if there's going to be enough time for anything to be done here. It's being stuck all the way by Sassy, just hoping he can get over the line, but he baited enough time. Kesnit plays it perfectly. In fact, the remaining two players. It came very close. Might have taken some hairs off Sadik's head, and he's not too happy about it. Huge damage done. Two kills. Healing himself. And now down below, he's caught Kesnit off, oh, no. and he's out of ammo. Off to the classic, and he gets what? the kill. Reloading below, and it leaves it into the hands of Nags. He has been phenomenal, but now he's got to get four more to ace it up. It's maybe a bit much to ask of the man. Yeah, and, and the thing is as well, if this was later in the round, I think we'd almost be definitely calling for him to go for a save, but you've got 45 seconds to try and survive with an operator. You know his flank is currently held. I don't think Loud are going to overface this though. That, that's the one advantage he has is Loud are not going to want to lose any weaponry here. They, they want to try and make sure this is squeaky clean. The thing is though, it, it's still a worry. Like the Brazilians have done, oh I see, they, the Sadak has done impressively within this round. And, and, and that's been the main story, I, I feel like, of their defense so far. Even, even on their... On the uh, on the A site, that other round, and now the round we just saw unfold, he's someone I definitely want to avoid. It doesn't look like crew, dude. They're moving right towards well, the, him. The buy is awful, though. And while well, the, the attempted fights are just not going in their direction. Wall up on top of wall. But he has just gone over the top. He was the only player had a rifle. He just tried to wall up on a wall. And while... Well, Delzik is only going to get a single kill. Loud, it's been shakier in the first in this one, but he has been huge on these fights again and again, winning them out. Looks like the push is coming on through, and they're into the site, at least into Arcade. Still have to deal with less Showstopper. Not going to do that. The TP out just in time, and look who's repositioned Sadik now up top, and he's ready to catch them. The Rolling Thunder decimating crew, and it looks like this is the end. An ace clutch for Nags. Well, we're going to go on to Haven, 1-0 to zero for Brazil. Oh, 
it's not going to happen. Sadak has just had a worldy of a performance, 13 to 10. I think a very good sign, though, for crew fans out there. They, they've come up against.